Halloween hysteria, 2022. It was meant to be 2021, but you know, the old COVID kicked it down the line, but we can't complain too much. It's happening at Easter time this year. And uh, Halloween at Easter, you can't go too wrong. Uh, and we got, we got people from three of the bands playing on the day here tonight. Guys, uh, give us a little bit of an intro. We'll start with you, Slats. We're like, you know, who are you playing with and, and what's going on? You're looking, uh, you're looking particularly pretty th this evening. Well, it's fucking Halloween. I'm the only one who fucking dressed up. What's going on? Yeah, you didn't make the You're the only one who made the episode. <laughs> Just kidding. I look like this every day. Hi, I am Slats Every Day from King Parrot. Uh, we're a heavy metal band from Melbourne, Australia, and some of us aren't from Melbourne, Australia. But, uh, yeah, that's the band I'm in. And, hi, oh, it's great to meet you all. Oh, pleasure. Chris, how about yourself, mate? Cool. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, I'm Chris, or Chapo, from Mountain yeah. with Death Colts. Uh, in Sydney. Very nice. Hey, Slat. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like Celebrity Squares a little bit here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've got someone else's name on my head and I'm going to have to guess who I am by the end of this. <laughs> That's my whole that life. Guy. And uh, Jordan, mate, just give us a little bit of an intro. I'm um, Jordan, singing the band Disentomb. Uh, we're a brutal death metal band from Brisbane and uh, just had a mole cut out. So Holy smoke. Just thought I'd... Uh, Address the fucking <laughs> <Yeah, you're laughs> in the room. You're not just injecting so that's not, into the neck. Yeah, I just thought I'd put not, it on, make me look a little bit more tough. <laughs> fresh tats, fresh neck tats. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping it might be a filter I could fucking choose. That'd be grand. <laughs> <laughs> the mole removal filter. I take notes, Zuckerberg. <laughs> I love the mole filter. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, filter. so tell me, boys, have, have you guys played shows together? I think. You were saying before, Slats, that you guys and Mountain with Death Cold have played together before last year? Yeah, we, we uh, as Chapo pointed out, uh, played at um, Frankie's uh, for Easter, um, celebrating the uh, the coming of Jesus, which was fantastic. Um, but uh, Jordan and I, we've uh, done many things. I've actually uh, got uh, a picture of our tour that we did together for our album launch, Jordan, uh, on the back, on the door up to my shitter. So I actually <laughs> look and I think about you every day. Oh, well, that's that's fantastic yeah. here. I've got fantastic memories with you guys as well. <laughs> <laughs> and just so you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty regular. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was thinking about this the other day. Oh, shit. Me... <laughs> <laughs> no, Disentombing King Parrot, I think we shared the stage in Indonesia back in, like, 2014. I remember we yeah. played those Bastard Fest shows back in 2012. Um, yep. That was before, that, that was when Disentomb could headline over King Parrot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no, um, no, no, we, we, no we animosity under, here, I hope. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> no, not at all. no. No hard <laughs> <like. laughs> um, No, no, so like, but no, Chapo, I don't think we've played together our bands, but you know this would be a good first time obviously oh yeah so not yet but uh first one's a good one right first cut is the deepest mm. yeah it's <laughs> gonna be a good maybe one maybe will join the the death cult yeah perhaps perhaps yeah it's, perhaps um, come on board man <laughs> yeah for sure i mean but I, I watch out for chapo jordan <laughs> what's that I was going to say, watch out for Chapo, though. Before you know it, his fucking band will be trying to headline over you. And fucking, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what. Guilty, bro. I'm so sorry. Because I'll tell you what, we're not young anymore, guys. You've <laughs> 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 got so many cars up your sleeves, so lads. <laughs> uh, if um, I didn't have filters, I'd be fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chapo, your, uh, your band's name is Mountain Wizard Death Cult. I mean, as a cult, how convincing are you guys to actually get people on board? Because, you know, most cults, they've, you know, they've got their hooks. What's your hook to get people in? Oh, man, I guess if you enjoy talking shit and having a good time, come on board. I mean, that's <laughs> everyone, isn't it? Shouldn't that shouldn't be the biggest thing since sliced bread? Yeah, uh, I guess we just have to wait and see, bro. <laughs> I know, we don't really like, apart from the name, you know, Mountain Wizard Death Cult and, um, you know, the imagery of everything as like a heavy band, we're definitely not like, uh, you know, coming out in robes or bringing it into cult or anything like that. Unless you, you know, you want to do that, be our guest. 
I mean, what would people Probably say? Probably they had filters thinking? for the stage. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need some wizard filters. Maybe you should find one. Through that <laughs> that, a bit more that on. good. You just walk out on stage and there's just a light screen in front of you and just choose to look like this. It'd be fucking grass. I mean, I feel I feel like uh, like Maynard from Tools probably done it. You know, he's probably he's 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 done that before. They put the white screen in front of him. Oh, yeah. Somebody we, tell me, did that can't get cancelled or what? Uh, there was oh. a, there was definitely an attempt. There was certainly an attempt yeah, right. at one point there. Yeah, someone told me the other day. Yeah, it was an attempt, but I don't think it uh it came to fruition. It didn't no, stick. Right. I, I'm such a short attention span, I didn't even fucking bother to open Safari and look it up. <laughs> I didn't think you were out on the phone yet with those pigtails yet, slats. <laughs> You'd be far from the age restriction setting. <laughs> He's a bit, bit young oh, for a phone yet. A bit young. But, uh, <laughs> fun, fun, funnily enough, with Maynard, uh, one thing JJ does, um, he's got a bit of inner West cowboy <laughs> vibes happening. So he wears like you know, like a 10-gallon hat. Uh, on stage and because there's nice. stuff he kind of like comes and goes like he'll come out you know do his thing and then disappear for a bit oh, so I, I kind of like, like that that is a similar yeah, sort of like. vibe to Maynard because like Maynard refuses to be at the front yeah, yeah. So it's, it is like out. that it is like that but the great yeah. thing is he absolutely fucking hates Tool so people are like oh you're doing like the Maynard thing man and he's like <laughs> fuck off <laughs> <laughs> oh it's beautiful yeah. I love it I mean, someone said to me once as someone said to me once, people who are into Tool are really shit at having sex. And I was like, oh, I fucking love Tool. <laughs> <laughs> me too, man. Me too. Is it because it's like... Oh, I do love Tool, I guess. Is it's it because they're so, like, they have, like, so such weird time signatures, like, they just don't know how to keep a rhythm? <laughs> yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's, prog co- <laughs> it's, it's prog cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. We're, we're off topic. Let's bring it back. Halloween hysteria. Have you, who's who's actually played the Halloween hysteria festival before? Is it? Is it, have any of you guys played? Slats, you played previous yep. previous years. And what's what's yeah, the vibe like? What's what's the vibe like? Is it a, is it a is it a rowdy festival? Um. So like, I'm just going off the the festival that we did play. I remember it was a fucking great day, and like, I, I guess I mean I, I'm pretty sure I got wasted, but like. Um, just the mix of styles of bands and stuff yeah. was unreal too. You know, I remember I think I was watching was it Cosmic Psychos and the like in inside stage, of, you know, whatever the setup was. But like, yeah, um, and the Bennies and stuff, it was fucking unreal. But like, yeah. I, I mean, I love heavy metal, but you know, I don't need to listen to it every day, and I don't even need to listen to it in every band. So it's good to have a bit of variety. That's yeah, I, like I mean, that. so I've like this particular chat is obviously we're we're obviously a heavier end of the spectrum. Um, but yeah, there's everything from that sort of punk sort of style through to rock stuff, through to metal, metalcore, all the way through to yeah. like thrashy and, and extreme metal and that sort of stuff. Like what's, what's I guess, going to other festivals and all that sort of stuff, what's been, you know, your surprise like band that you've enjoyed at a festival that you just, so out of your usual sort of thing that you like, but you saw them went, fuck, that was a great show. Anyway, jump in, jump in. Uh, to be honest, I only like about five bands, so it's never really happened, mate. (laughs) (laughs) Elitist. I I love the honesty, that's good. Very (laughs) typical. Yeah. I found um, at at Laneway one year, which is a bit different for me, uh, and Pond that I like, Psych Rock, Titanium Pond kind of thing and yeah. i like a bit of shoe gaze and, and that kind of vibe as well but mm. they were just like epic it was just one of those shows where as soon as they were on four year company a good festival band you know what i mean like yeah 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 show. and and the guy's voice as well just an awesome front man um yeah kind of, you know, like, sometimes it's fucking undeniable isn't it like doesn't matter what it yeah. is it's like fuck there's talent there that's that's unreal because yeah. the other thing to remember is playing at a festival is fucking hard. Like you've got five minutes to get on the stage um, and bring your bring your, your show, but yeah. uh, really you're probably operating off all the shit that is not yours, um, which yeah. is great for me because I'm fucking lazy, but for everyone else, <laughs> they, they usually want their stuff. Um, I reckon for me, uh, it was at Meredith Music Festival fucking years ago, um, off me tits on acid and grinder man playing. Oh, Nick Cave, sick. I've never seen him before. 
but it was like he was a secret agent that was stopping a nuclear fucking bomb from going off while all while still singing songs. Like yeah. he walked on people's hands. I don't know if that was the acid or actually happened, but it was fucking <laughs> grouse. Yeah. No, I've, I've, uh, he, he's one of those musos, musos, I think, is, is Nick Cave. Yeah. He's like, everyone who I've ever spoken to, like, that's also a muso and, and, are uh, like, just, you know, just. But you think about that presence, the ability to create presence. Like, he, like, honestly, like, just, you know, when you're at those shows and, it's not like, you know, who cares if cunts jump around and shit like dickheads. I have to do that. But, like, you know, some people are shoegaze, but they've just got some some kind of presence that you just can't look away or you can't stop yeah. listening. You're going, holy fuck, this is actually happening in front of me. It's great. Yeah. Actually, so this might be an interesting question for you as well. Is like at the point at which King Parrot started to get, you know, uh, a fair whack of attention from, you know, your film clips and, like, your, you know, insane live show and all of that sort of stuff you're on a booking agency mm. all of a sudden you're getting booked on festivals where it's not just metal stuff what's been the mm. most sort of wild uh you know you guys are on either before or after someone that's just like so not like you and you've like what's the biggest contrast you've had to play before or after like sure oh, God. There, there would be some i'm trying to think like I think oftentimes even like that your own personal feeling of major contrast even coming up like coming on or going after a metal band you go they're really fucking good and we're King Parrot fuck <laughs> but you know like but I think about a festival where there is a mix, mix of people we didn't get to go on before or after but um you know standing side of stage watching Ice Cube like you know about uh you know two bands after us and then yeah. actually and going how the fuck did this happen but then also <laughs> like two seconds later the their personal security guard grabbing me and Ari literally by the scruffs of our necks and like saying get the fuck off we told you weren't allowed up here <laughs> but what no was that? <laughs> I can't remember the name of it it was in Canada and they were oh, speaking French wow. and shit I don't know <laughs> stop it who <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but uh, the, the um, Ari Ari found out the um, head security guard for Ice Cube's name and basically just dropped it so he could get through and get back on stage and watch. And then, like within about two seconds, we were just like it was like one of those sticks that just comes out of the side. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you got the crook. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Jordan, with this in term, I mean, like it, it's such a a dense, you know, sort of wall of sound type of sound that you guys have i mean has that has that ever you know has that ever had you guys shut down for being too loud or has it ever had you guys get in trouble with a you know promoter or you know has has, has the being such a big loud intense band ever sort of got you guys into into dramas or i mean it's definitely made us stand out from the pack a little bit um, we did this tour in the U S and we were playing, it was the last show of like a two month run and we were playing this old high school. And it was like literally this, it was like a festival. I forget what it was called, but it was a, an entire day's worth of pop punk bands. <laughs> and for some reason, and for some reason, uh, and like we we're playing at the school with like yellow school buses, like this stereotypical American high school where there's lockers everywhere. For some reason yes. it was distant to him the Black Dahlia murder, just playing this pop punk festival. What? And essentially we, we went on like after a pop, pop punk band in beforehand. Mm. And it was just like, we had a lot of fans that showed up and everything. It was awesome, but it was just, it, it was, we just thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Like yeah. me sort of climbing onto the P, top of the PAs and just sort of commanding the crowd to just go crazy. And there was just a lot of like, you know, Michigan teenagers wondering what the hell was going on. You know? and, then, yeah. and then we just wandered like the high school halls afterwards, just checking out all these different bands playing throughout this high school. But so, so that wait, was, was, probably the, the, was the school abandoned? No, it wasn't abandoned. It, uh, apparently, it wasn't like an active high school anymore, but multi purpose like this. I reckon. Yeah, it, uh, for, for some reason, it, it looked like a completely normal high school. They had this festival there. It looked functioning. There was school buses, was yellow school buses everywhere. But 
Yeah, it, that, that's probably the only distinct memory I yeah. have where, like, we just stuck out like a sore thumb more than yeah. ever, especially yeah. Jordan. more, like, Australian dudes. Jordan, can I ask, and Chapo as well, but, like, and, you know, it hasn't happened that much to us these days, but, like, when you no one really knows who the fuck you are and you end up playing a random show like that and you're just sitting there going, <laughs> wait till they get a load of us. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We, um, yeah, we, we had one, like, very, very start, like, you know, first starting off playing, uh, you know, mates parties and all the rest of it, as a lot of people yeah, do. Yeah. And it was, like, all blues, psych. It was, like, on a big property. They built the stage. It was a great time, but we were meant to play, like, 12. And as we are watching, like, these dudes all just want to, you know, eat mushrooms and listen to some Ray Vaughan. They don't want to hear this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, we playing. and then the day kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. So the time we played, it was like 2.30 in, like, in the morning. JJ wow. went out and had a nap, so we had energy to go play. <laughs> and it was kind of like people getting in their tent and you're like, yeah, sorry, guys. Fucking just <laughs> 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 getting everybody out, bro. Yeah, you I love just that. own it, right? Yeah, Jordan, I'm sure you got a story. You got to. <laughs> well, I suppose without that punk pop one, definitely. Well, it's just a matter of, you know, you kind of just, I mean, even for people who like death metal, disentomb can probably be still quite extreme. So yeah. if, if you don't even really like death metal and then you hear disentomb, which is like kind of pretty far end on the spectrum of, you know, blasting and just mm. of vocals that sound like a vacuum cleaner, you know, it's pretty <laughs> obscure and like... It awesome. just must seem so strange and dumb. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I felt like most of my life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, you know, we're four strange and dumb dudes, so it's kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Don't even like that. It reminded me of Jordan. Um, when you're telling that story, it reminds me of, like, being a kid and you're watching Ace Ventura for the first time <laughs> and, then, and then Cannibal Corpse come on. You know, you're watching Jimmy Carrey yeah, and yeah. Zane, and then it's just, yeah. you know, Cannibal Corpse, all the gutturals. It was kind of like yeah. a real life version of that, really. And then you run to your mum and go, look, mum, it is valid. This guy who's really famous <laughs> likes heavy metal too. <laughs> Jim Carrey's in the movie. <laughs> There's a photo of Jim Carrey on their CD liner notes. <laughs> it's important stuff, mum. <laughs> Legit. Uh, I don't think there's a metalhead anywhere who hasn't had that thought of like, see? Yeah. It is valid. Validity. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and so, like, being that it's, I mean, it's going to kind of be Halloween. It's Halloween at Easter, really. Like, are you guys going to be dressing up for, I mean, the slats is obvious, I get. <laughs> obviously, of course. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but, and I mean, have you, like, do you want to spoil the surprise and go, all right, this is what I'm going to come as? Or are you just going to say, yes, I am going to be dressed up or not? Personally, I haven't landed definitely on anything, but I've been considering a, a doozer outfit from Fraggle Rock. Um, oh, but yeah, yes, I'm not going to give too much else away. I'm not going to give too much. There's, there, but there are options. That's all I know that much. I yeah. love it. I love it. Nothing from the distant tomb boys, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's just going to be pretty straightforward. Bit, bit too, bit too yeah, straightforward and serious. So, uh, just, don't dress yeah. up. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because he's a fucking hot as fuck. So just stay like that. <laughs> <laughs> we've done it we've done it once before we played a Halloween thing last year um, and the highlight I think of everybody's night was our bass player Tony wore a gimp suit Ooh. and that gets requested like every show so now you've said yeah. this I think we've got our Ian beginning to gimp up now <laughs> my, my question my question out of that is did he own it prior to this <laughs> or, yeah, yeah. or was it purchased out of the band funds? I think it was his first time publicly adding himself as a gimp. Let's put it that way. <laughs> he's, he's kept the receipt and he's still waiting to get reimbursed by the band, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a business, guys. <laughs> Back to the job. Back to the job. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but you get to wear it outside of being in the band as well. So you know, <laughs> exactly. yeah. it's the gimp that keeps on giving. Or well, the kids on gimping. <laughs> gimping. Bring him out. <laughs> Bring out the gill. Right. Boys, I mean, I don't think we can get any more ridiculous than we've already been. So I might, uh, might wrap it up at that point. But um, just off the rest of the lineup, I mean, on Halloween hysteria, like who are you guys looking forward most to seeing on the day? 
Everyone pulls up. Everyone's the going, hmm. <laughs> no, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Spider Bay. Like, yeah. you know, oh. my older brothers oh. always listen to Spider Bay growing up, so I'm keen to check them out. A little bit yeah. of Calypso, can't go wrong yeah. with Black Betty. I'm, yeah. uh, yeah, I'm all down for it. I, I think they'd appreciate that too, especially like being like if they had a chance to see you guys, they'd be probably like, holy fuck. And then like to see you side stage, perhaps watching them, yeah. they'd be like, I have a, I have a, like I have that. a bit of an inkling that uh, Spider Bait is not going to watch Distant Tomb, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shout. I'm, I'm under gonna, no impression. I'm going to uh, tag Cram in it now. It's like you got to come watch Distant Tomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you, Slats? Who, who are you looking forward to seeing? I'll be honest, you probably like uh, Spider Bait's an easy one because I love that you say your brother. It was me uh, who loved Spider Bait when I was <laughs> a kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which, by the way, before we started this conversation, Tim, you and I were talking. Um, we played some shows up in New South Wales a few weeks ago and we were in Wollongong and went to the beach the next day. Lovely weather, great water up there, you know, good on your guys, New South Wales. But um, I didn't take any sun creams. I went up to these three young as fuck dudes, lifesavers, going, hey, mate, could I um, get some sun cream off you? And they were like, oh, what are you up here for? And I'm like, uh, you're on holiday? I was like, no, nah, I'm at work, actually. I'm a uh, musician. Uh, and they go, hang on, do you play in King Parrot? My parents fucking love you guys. And I go, fuck, I'm so old. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm looking forward to seeing Spider Bait. Um, but uh, the other one is uh, Loser. Yeah, nice. Yeah, they've been getting a lot of yeah. pop lately. And, and mm. their live show specifically. So that's, you're probably in for a treat there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you, Chapo? Uh, apart from, you know, the heavy shit. I'm keen to see clowns again. It's been fucking ages um, since I've seen them. And the last time was before I was even doing Down Wizard. And I ended up getting like, <laughs> so the lands down, it was super loose. So I ended up getting like earbuds in my ear. And oh, the guitar had to have them. Out. Yeah, and the guitarist got out the merch desk for the set of pliers. So I kind oh, of want to start. Yeah, yeah. So, so I pushed it in, knocked to the head, pushed it in. And that was the last, that my last time on their set, having the best time ever, and then having to get them to get players. Like, like the up. pointy nose ones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was like, That's just fuck there. having that in your ear. Oh, yeah, never again. But Very civic minded. I want to, to reclaim the mosh uh, for a clown set. So yeah. I'm keen. Yeah, I'm keen. that feels like you need to, like, yeah, claim it back for yourself, mate. I need to do over, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good, good. good. <laughs> Well, boys, thank you so much for having a chat. And, you know, I'll, I'll be there on the day. Let's let's have another chat then on the day. And, uh, and boys, thanks so much. Uh, Halloween hysteria. Let's, let's, let's mosh. Oh, yeah. It's going to be sick. Hell yeah, dudes. Jimmy. Can't wait, guys. Hey, <laughs> bananas. Let's go bananas. <laughs> we'll fucking go bananas. Getting peeled with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> sick. Cheers. Amazing. See you guys.